In this video, we'll balance the redox reaction Zn plus Cu2 plus. This is zinc metal, solid zinc metal, plus the copper 2 ion. So we'll use these steps here to balance our redox reaction. If you need help, head over to my website here for lots of help with each one of the steps here so you'll be able to balance redox reactions. First thing we do, we write the oxidation numbers. So in this case, the oxidation numbers, they're the same as the ionic charge. Not always the case, but that works out here. Once we have the oxidation numbers, we can write the half reactions. So when you look at this, the zinc goes from zero to plus two. The copper goes from plus two to zero. The way I think about it, we had plus two, we went to zero. The number got smaller, we've been reduced. That means up here, we've been oxidized. We went from zero to plus two, got bigger. So this is our oxidation half reaction. So let's write those out. So we have oxidation and reduction. Now we need to balance these. So first we make sure the atoms are balanced. Zinc, zinc, copper, copper. We're all good there. Then we would balance the oxygen and the hydrogen atoms, but there aren't any, so we don't have to do any of that. What we do need though, is to balance the electrons. We're gonna balance the charge by adding electrons. So over here, it's neutral, it's zero, two plus. Let's add two negative charges, two electrons. Now both sides of the half reaction, they're balanced. Over here, it's neutral, we have a two plus. Let's add two electrons. Now that's balanced, and we've balanced the half reactions. So now we would balance the overall equation for charge. The good thing is, we have two electrons here and two electrons here. So we don't need to do anything, they're the same. In fact, they're the same electrons. Zinc lost these two, copper got them. It was reduced. That's our redox reaction. So all we need to do is add the half reactions together, simplify, we're done. So over here, these are the reactants right here. Let's put those together. We have our zinc, our two electrons, then our copper two ion. Over here, these are the products. So let's put those down here. So we have our zinc ion, our two electrons, and then the copper. So this is the redox reaction for zinc plus the copper two ion. Since we have electrons on both sides, two electrons here and here, cancel those out, get rid of that, and we'll clean it up. So you might notice that what we ended up with is what we started with. And that kind of makes sense. Zinc, it lost the two electrons Copper gained the two electrons, it was reduced, and we ended up with solid copper here. So although it's already balanced, we've identified the oxidation and the reduction half reactions, which is something you might be asked on an exam. This is Dr. B balancing the redox reaction for zinc plus the copper two ion. Thanks for watching.